Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it, and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. Slovakia braced for their anthem. Although it's got the juices flowing, and now this. Who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Harry Kane. He's a deadly finisher, Peter, obviously, but he can contribute much more than that for his team. He's got the physical presence to hold the ball up and the awareness to bring pretty much everyone else into play. His best attributes, however, might be his, his enthusiasm, his energy and his desire to win because those things become infectious to others. Yeah, he'll be looking for a goal or two. And that gets things running. Kane. Kane goes for goal! An early chance there, first of the game. A buccaneering run from the defender. And the shot! Oh, what a wonderful stop! The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. The chances keep on coming, they're awarded another corner. Gets up to hit it! That's gone a long way up and away. And it's Stones. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. Time to play, and it is a goal kick. Rice. If 
That's a quarter of an hour gone. Still goalless at the moment. Rice. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Crosses it in. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Kuczka. Forward it goes. Just brushed off the ball there. Kane. Battles to win it back. Rice. Foden. And here's Kane. Shoots! And the ball's come loose. You can get that clear. Foden. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? Oh, it's open up. Real chance! Tries to get it forward quickly. Finds himself eased off the ball. Alexander Arnold. Now it's Kane. Kane. Hits one! And he's done it! Look, there are always tactical adjustments for any coach to make at half time, but when your star man gives you a critical lead, just before the break, everyone will be paying extra attention. It really is the ideal tournament. Straight reactions in front of goal. He just saw what was on. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick minded is that? A 1-0 lead established. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Kuczka. Place it over to the other flank. Cut out in the nick of time. The first half is done. Well, there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. <laughs> Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? England deserve to be ahead and probably should be in front by more considering the amount of chances they've managed. Everything points to more of the same second half and a good solid win. England go in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. So we're just settling back into this second half. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. <laughs> oh, 
Over it comes. Towering header. Oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Kyle Walker. Dunk. Referee's awarded a free kick. Stones gets it back. Stones drives it forward. Now it's Kane. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Kuchka. He's got options out wide. Your impression so far, Jim? They're ahead, but they're not playing as if they are. There seems to be uh, more of an emphasis on protecting their lead than, than adding to it. It's all gone a little timid. Well, that's surely a foul free kick. Shaping up to have a crack from here. England with a chance here to increase their lead. And he's going direct. Oh, he's pulled off a fine save. Well, I thought a starting position was good, and that helped the keeper to judge the flight of the ball and, and deal with it well. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. England got their goal at the end of the first half, and it's 1-0. And now the breakaway. Well played, he saw that coming. Hoists it forward. Plays it out to the wing. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. This isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. England can make their change now with uh, a break in play. <laughs> Hooper Chan. And it's played forward. Well, to be honest, I think they're all showing no substance. Where's the final product? Duda. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Kane. Skriniar with a fine tackle. That's a throw.
Saka. And what a corner. And that has been clear. Goes to finish! England need to hold on for a few more moments. Kuczka. Little doubt, that is a foul. Oh, that's a booking, always looked it. A spectacular effort! Oh, that was extravagant by any standard. Well, it was certainly an acrobatic effort. I mean, it was probably the best option for him, but they're never easy to pull off. And that is it. The referee has seen it up. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it. But that was enough. Your reflections then, Jim? Well, to me, this is a result, Peter, that says an awful lot more than the scoreline suggests. You know, after the goal, the team just settled down and, and looked surprisingly comfortable and didn't really need to work too hard.